Feature Friday. The freshest. <laughs> Righty. So now sort of diving deeper into more sort of uh, the Indian music industry. Someone that's been getting very requested and we were very like, what would you call it? Mind blown about and also just pleased to make such discovery was uh, Shreya Goshal. And uh, we saw her perform in the podcast that we did uh, like a couple of weeks ago. Uh -huh. And uh, this has been requested because what's impressive about her and the reason why a lot of people consider her to be so kind of high echelon in terms of music worldwide okay. is because she's an outstanding live performer. Uh, and, uh, we love that. I've seen videos of her like like taking the piss in like live streams and stuff. <laughs> and people think, it's like, what the fuck? This woman was born with like, like even with effects her in her mouth. Like <laughs> so I thought this got really requested. So I thought we'd check this out, which I think it's like a festival. I'm not too sure about where it was. Maybe I think it's a Shrego show in the back. So I think it's her own uh, sort of concert. But let's give it a watch. All right. Let's have a look. Excited. Excited. <laughs> I love the trousers as well. That is a look. Really intricate rhythm though, what the hell? What? <laughs> How is that shit humanly possible, dude? I just don't understand. How is she doing that? I, okay, here's where all the years of studying and all the years of science kind of like slap you in the face and say, I'm out. <laughs> because know, I don't understand how that's physically possible. I, I you know, I'm, I'm no, and I think maybe, you know, some people might, might be new to the channel and stuff, and I'm no expert in singing or, of, of, you know, vocalizations or anything <laughs> like that. I, I rap and I'm a musician. That's what I do. But when I see other people, you know, with, you know, high like a high, what I consider a, a, a decent or high pedigree in singing or someone who's like, who sings and also trained in like theater and stuff like that, like yourself. And then we converse about people like Treya and people like Arijit and we kind of discuss what the fuck is going on. Like, how is this even like a thing? And it's so natural to them as well. And then also it seems in the Indian music industry, they are sort of, you know, high echelon because of their live performances, but also this is not that uncommon, uncommon mm -hmm. to do uh, at the level that they do it of course it's uncommon but this seems to be the common sound um and they kind of originated that sound and my question is how the hell you know do you come up with it and it i'm is. reading a lot of comments because i really want to try and inform myself um and you guys that seem to be from there or maybe just what's unbelievable is like sometimes in the podcast you know people listen from all over the world and it's yeah. like, oh first time listening to any music like us so I'm trying to educate myself a bit more. So I do apologize if I'm making mistakes, even in pronouncing names. I mispronounce everything. Uh, <laughs> but it's very intriguing to sort of be exposed to such sound that seems to be so natural to them and so unnatural. To us. Yeah, yeah I totally agree. I think there is, a, and there's obviously like that instant charm that comes with it. It, it being so completely different to the idea of singing that we grew up thinking was it um it, listening to completely different takes completely different influences it's incredible and and remarkable it's remarkable because it's it's borderline inspiring right so it sparks so much curiosity and then that ignites inspiration it's a wonder right what, what else is out it's there it's like you're being a kid again yeah, like yeah. Th that's that's <laughs> what it, it it ignites that Wow, like the world is so much bigger than I thought it was. Probably why the energy in here is like it's a bit higher than usual because it's literally like you did just discover. I feel like we just discovered the Eldorado. I mean, Basically, you know? <laughs> it's like it's, it's a single wonderland. Madness, dude. yeah, it's magical. <laughs> and the rhythmicality is so hard. It's a good mixing, yeah. It is fantastic. They, it has the right amount of reverb that it creates that spacious type of sound and they aggregate that delay right in the ends of those words. The sound engineer is like on point. Yeah, props to that soundboard. Oh person. my God, fantastic. And oh, the, the, the rhythmicality of it is so fun. Yeah, I can't tell, I can't tell where the minor percussion is just playing. That would be, and that's something as well that I'm falling in love, why I'm falling slowly in love with the indie music industry is that they don't seem to neglect. They seem to be an industry that doesn't seem to neglect minor percussionists. Well, it's it's a huge part of their music. As, well, as a matter of fact, it might be a primordial part of it. it, it you is. can't neglect it. Uh, and as a minor percussionist myself, where I grew up, that is like, oh, mate, why isn't every industry like that? 
You know what I mean? Yeah, I agree. So many jobless minor percussionists out there, <laughs> then they have to evolve and become drummers because yeah. you have no job otherwise. You know? So yeah. that's that's awesome. You just that, gotta move to India. <laughs> yeah, well, man, I'd love to. Just, if I if I be able to play like that all the time, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, hire me. But I can't tell where he's playing. And it's that, is that, is that, that, uh, tam, uh, ah, I'm learning. I'm, no, no, I'm gonna learn. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna memorize all these names, all these new instruments. They're completely new to me. The first time we saw them is two weeks ago. And I literally saw a movie last week and I couldn't remember it. So, <laughs> two days later. <laughs> yeah, so my memory is a bit fucked. Like, it's a bit goldfish-like. <laughs> so I will, I will learn them. Go on. But we're dumber, dumb and dumber. <laughs> like if you forget something, Your memory's all right. You're really smart. I'm not. Go on. <laughs> I love her. That was one, two, one, two, one, two. What the fuck? What? I do not understand that. But that is a vibe. And the chord progression is so cool! Dude, that is madness! I love how she... She uses her hands, it's so beautiful! And it's really important to highlight there's no post here there's no post production this is it's just this is a fan cam yeah there's just you know it's just mixing and mastery well moving mastery just mixing, mixing and equalization that's yeah. it but and you're hearing it actually with precarious audio because it's sort of from a from saturated a camera. and stuff yeah but that is madness that she can manage to do all those things and make and this is the the thing we we, it's dis so exciting. we discussed previously. It's like there's so many active choices being uh -huh. made constantly. Yeah. Constantly, there's so many different entries, arrangements. The time signature is all over the place. It's really hard to pin it down. Obviously, she's very familiar with the pieces. And this is our first time listening to it. Yeah. So it, it would be more like, what the fuck is going it's on? A, it's a complete surprise to us. Every change of time signature. But it, rhythmically speaking, and the entrances and cues that she's getting are, are very, you know, surprising to me. It's, and her vocal texture is, you know... Uh, I spoke about it the first time I was exposed to her performances about two weeks ago. Yeah. That it, it, she's she has that mixture of a soprano setting of the larynx, but she's including a lot of the natural twanginess that she possesses, and she's amplifying the use of that uh, of of the soprano setting, and she's amplifying it like using the twang edge to even go higher in in things and movements with the larynx that are so intricate and I had never seen done before. Uh, I would love, you know, this is my scientific brain clicking into place, but I would love to see one of those uh, camera scans of like how the larynx move when she's singing uh, or, or anyone singing in this style because it is so completely different. I would love to know exactly how and when and how much or to what degree is the larynx changing and shifting it where is it tilting where is it you know where is it maintaining its, its shape but it is a complete wonder to me it is an absolute wonder well at least that that you know confirms my yeah my my sort of sense of you know mystique to this uh -huh. genre um, which is probably the only thing the only preconception i had of the Indian music industry. There's a lot of mystique involved because I don't fucking understand it. Yeah, that's true. You know, it's, and it's actually, like magic to me. And actually, even people, uh, uh, close friends of mine that are Indian and grew up listening to music like this, they always said it's 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 like a magical effect. There, there are certain artists, there are certain songs that when they play, they completely change the atmosphere of the, of the room and they will elevate and create this magical thin foil of... Of, of of music that that is this genre and, and it's really it's really intricate i have never been yeah i never had the opportunity to look at it this closely so it's uh it's a treat it really is wonderful <laughs> She 
this is a lot of offsets and onsets. Oh, apologies, I think. I... So he's got there's those type of timbales thing that I forgot what they're called as well. But you, oh, so it's not this he's playing. I thought that would be where we'd be playing. No, but he's playing like. No bass player. She looks so relaxed, like no effort. She got fits of vocal. Like she's doing like vocal parody those. What the fuck? <laughs> right, left, 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 right, 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 left, 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 right, right, left, 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 right, 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 left, 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 right, left, left, right, right, I mean, the breath control, the note accuracy, the rhythmicality, the dynamics, vocally speaking, the jump and downs, and the, my God, it is absolutely fantastic. If you wanted a vocal a uh, workout <laughs> for note accuracy. Try learning this section. <laughs> Good luck. No, but like not at the not that obviously not at the real speed. Start like ten times slower. Oh, of course, yeah, no. but like an exercise. Like a vocal, it's essentially it a vocal is exercise. A vocal exercise. Even even the the uses usage of the diction, the way that she's doing certain notes to read note, the usage of the diction to use is is. is <laughs> <laughs> hit certain notes and, and the way this she's using the, uh, the the dynamics of the diction itself are really aiding the note accuracy because she's hitting notes so each p or each t or d that she's using is actually like a hammer to the note so she's using them plosives like a xylophone if you know what i'm talking about so, but uh, uh, yeah it's is absolutely nuts. That but that is this alludes, so impressive. This alludes to a point you made previously, uh, a couple of weeks ago on the pod, on the podcast, which was what's interesting about Shreya was not essentially the notes that she hits, right? Because there are notes that have been higher. Mm -hmm. It's how she gets to such notes, mm -hmm. which makes her very intricate and peculiar. Um, but perhaps then her what facilitates the, her journey because she decides to to make it very complex in order to get to such notes, um, which seems to be inherit, inherited in the style in itself. Mm -hmm. um, perhaps the reason why she facilitates this, is, is facilitated for her, is because of such vocal Diction. exercises. Yeah, absolutely. That I guess are also songs, but yeah. essentially they're Those she's are doing workouts. scales to yeah. some extent. Those are vocal workouts and, and it's not because of how high or how long you're holding your breath or whether if it's in a belt or if it's in a classical soprano, it's because of the natural uh, note accuracy required and the quickness, the, fa the fast hitting of the notes and moving quickly away from the last one it, and, and the dynamics of the breath technique, like when to take the breath, how long are you supposed to hold on to certain things. The dynamics are very, very prevalent here. And yeah, like I said, these are moments that you want to study and break apart and try to emulate in your own time because mm -hmm. they will aid your uh, overall development as a singer. You see the 
delay is so nice. And now this makes way more sense because we just saw how she runs through notes, right? So in a more cut cutthroat motion, yeah. yeah. So now using the breath to just kind of like run through the notes that we just saw being displayed in such an aggressive manner. <laughs> the it, this this part of it all makes sense to me. The elongation like, of it, yeah. it's allowed through the facilitation of the previous of the learning of the previous section. Absolutely, okay. absolutely, yeah. Yeah, it's a facilitator for sure. Yeah. Wow. Thank you so much. Thank you, Doha. Thank you, Doc. It was so interesting then that I've noticed with the with sort of the very little music that we have consumed so far from the indie music industry is when she does such runs usually runs uh, 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 I guess you could describe them as the opportunity of a singer to possess some type of freedom it's elusive freedom mm -hmm. elusive because this is you know, it's a specific amount of Set notes of you could do that you can go through yeah not just because of the the limitations of chords available in human no it, because the limitations of the, the song, song itself right, right that's <laughs> what I mean so but in here, it would essentially, it would be, that would be a better description of a run. Because she is a bit more free than usual. Uh, yeah, I suppose. You see what I mean? It, yeah. It, it truly feels like she could go left, right, up or down or diagonally or whatever she would want to do. Yeah, I think what is really nice though is the, is how she uses every note in between and she does, she's not afraid of the accidents the accidental notes right that usually those are the notes that we in the western world have always been taught to avoid neglect yeah yeah avoid Get avoid the uncomfortable avo avoid the accidents in in the musicality because you want to create harmony right this right here slapped that theory out of the table right because she created the perfect harmon harmonious atmosphere with the only, if not magnifying, all the accidents and in-betweens of the full notes. For an outro. Uh, for, an, for an absolute closing piece, right? So that to me, it's like, reconsider. Go back to the drawing board, you know. Readjust your, your perspectives and, and thoughts about music because you can create so much magic out of what you have been given. Here's you know? a question, though, for people watching. It was that an illusion and she's not as free as I think she is because this genre that's how would that would be like a common esque run mm -hmm. in this genre. Could be. Absolutely could be. Because that's you know, it's also an illusion to us because we're we're renewing it. Uh, but perhaps the more we consume, the more we'll realise that would be a and a very uncommon run that she would something have done. very usual in the or, genre. Or something itself. very usual, yeah. So yeah. I'd love to hear these sort of thoughts. I, I from what I'm hearing and from what you guys are telling me and obviously the credits that someone like Shreya has, um, sh she seems to be uh, truly an anomaly mm -hmm. in a, in what I feel it's also an, an industry full of anomalies. Yeah. So I'd, I'd love to hear more and I'd love to keep learning. So do please keep sharing your thoughts in the comments. Uh, it's awesome. And if you have any more live videos or anything else that you'd like us to check out from Shreya or anyone else, leave it down in the comment section below and we will check it out. Goodbye.